Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison. And what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be ch chasing down ghosts. Yes, ghosts. <laughs> Through the help of our ND filters and our imagination, locations we passed every day, we're going to see if we can see some of the ghosts from the past. With that being said, I'll see you on the other side of this ghost hunt. Let's start our ghost hunt on this Saddle City street. We see cars drive by like normal, but through the magic of our ghost finding ND filters, the ghost images of cars and trucks of the past become visible. A car of today turning right onto the same street, but now we see the ghost of cars that have turned here for over a hundred years. Even this welcome flag is flying in honor of the ghost flags that came before it. As this gentleman decided to wash his truck today, he did not know he was going to have help from a ghost washer from the past. How many times have you passed this fountain at the Ashbury Library? And how many times have you looked for the ghost in the water? Have you ever wondered how many cars have driven down Salisbury Street? Let's see if we can get a ghost driver of a ghost car from the past to stop and tell us. This lady is not walking along at the track. There are ghost walkers from the past joining in with her. As a driver goes by a popular restaurant on Sunset where a band is playing, do they wonder about the ghost of bands and the ghost cars that have came before? What did you think of my ghost hunt? Leave your comments below. Now pick up your camera, go outside, and find the ghost of the past in your own hometown. Because you know, I've said it once, and I've said it, said it a hundred times, no one knows it all when it comes to photography. And guess what? Even when it comes to finding ghosts, the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.